explore your archive. All the records, images and voices you will see and hear in this film are held by the Conway Archive Service. They will tell you about the people of Conway. When they were born, This year, 1541, baptised Ellen Griffith, 4th of January. Capel Garman, 1727, October 4th, Gwen, the daughter of William Thomas and Margaret, his wife, was baptised. October 25th, 1908, Mavanwi Ramsden Smith, parents William Ramsden and Margaret Ellen, abode, Castle Hotel, trade of father, hotel keeper. Where they went to school. May 19th, 1913. Name of scholar, Anne Jane Jones, class four. Nature of offence, disobedience. Punishment, one K. Who they married. The wedding reception was held at Gordinog Mansion, the bride's home, with nearly 300 guests. Where they worked. In the quarries. On the railways. On farms. In the gasworks. In shops. Driving lorries, stonemasons, in the mines, at the mill, at the aluminium works, out fishing, in offices, in catering. Where they lived. Wherever the people of Conway live, their homes are reported to them whether their homes are historic, humble, or elegant. Family homes for generations, replaced by newer ideas of what home should be. Where they prayed. Some of the oldest and loveliest churches are here. San Rochwin dates back to the sixth century. An age much addicted to talk and wrangle about religion, very stout and zealous in opposing and maintaining the doctrines which divide the Christian world. With the rise of nonconformity in the 18th and 19th centuries, chapel attendance soared and chapels played a huge social role in community life. Good times. For the many Welsh speaking people of Conway, the Eisteddfodau developed as a celebration of the language. John Roberts of Trevew felt that they had become too anglicised and in 1865 he founded a separate festival to rival the big nationalist Edward and called it Arwes Glan Geirionis. Fun times. Hello! Hello! Whoa! You can't do that to me, sir! Why not? Why not? Don't you know who I am? My mother and father, and the young sister, four years old, and my elder sister, they were in the house, and that was swept away, and they were carried right down to the top of the canal, past the carpet factory. My mother was drowned, and my little sister was drowned. My elder sister, she managed to get into an old school that had gone down so far, and stayed on submerged in the water and she stayed in the school for uh, till it came light. In trouble with the law. On the seventh day of November, in the year of our Lord 1866, Jane Williams is summarily convicted before us for that she did feloniously steal, take and carry away one cotton dress, one apron and a cotton pocket handkerchief of the value of five shillings. 
and we adjudge the said Jane Williams to be imprisoned in the common jail in Carnarvon for the space of three calendar months. Going to war. 5th of August 1914, barometer steady 29.45, fine and sunny. England declares war against Germany, 11pm yesterday. Local men began to leave for the front. Not everyone was happy to go. He is the eldest son of a widowed mother who is in delicate health. And many returned injured or not at all. Life changed also for those left at home. Again war. 1939 and local men enlist. Again new work for women. Again loss. Home to peace. After the horror of war. Celebration and commemoration. And the task began of raising monuments to those who had lost their lives. When they died. Buried, 1777. Jane William Andrew, an old widow, August 15th. To make a shroud for a pauper, Jane William Andrew, one shilling and sixpence. And in contrast, the huge crowd surrounding the churchyard and along the park drive had been steadily growing until it was variously estimated at from six to seven thousand. How they are remembered. People are remembered in different ways. We both of us have pneumonia and then a touch of TB. Hmm. And our doctor, who was a friend of Dr. Garrett's, told us about this home. But he said it's built just for the poor people. But he said, I do believe he's had one or two private patients. It's a wonderful place, the best place we could go. So many stories left to discover. Will you find yours? Thank you.